welcome to our date night vlog y'all oh i'm so excited do you know how long it has been since we have gone on a date more than seven months y'all more than seven months I surprised my honey with tickets to the R&B Only Fest. If you are an 80s, 90s baby, come on now. You already know this was a vibe. We had to start the evening off right and I had to pregame. If you know Brandon, he does not drink. Brandon had a premium margarita. <laughs> Pretty. Look at my baby over there. Ooh, it was a mango nada and it had that um I don't know what kind of candy, what it's called. Y'all yeah, you see it. You see it. I love it. I eat it all the time. Straight fire. Like the best margarita I've ever had. And it was strong. Mm-hmm. Okay, I look real greedy here, but y'all, y'all don't understand how good this is. And the margarita itself made the candy really soft. Woo. Let me show off my outfit really quick because it is no for sure merch. That is my favorite podcast right now. If you don't know, you better find out destroyed i told you this drink was good and yep i'll finish yours too now y'all see why i was lit <laughs> come on we gotta go get you some food As you could see, I surprised Brandon with um, the R&B Fest, which was in Las Colinas. I don't know if that's Las Colinas. The address is Las Colinas, but I believe it's more like Grand Prairie, Irving type area, Texas. Um, it was really fun. It was weird because we had such a great time. And then a little bit after we left, I hit this like low moment. I just was not feeling well i felt really sad i felt really depressed like just like this wave of sadness is so weird it's so weird the way that it works out and then the following day that um sunday was not a good day either i really didn't want to be bothered i didn't really come out of my room like i filmed some content um just to kind of keep my mind off of things and of course my husband knew that something was up he just did not know what and it's so hard because i couldn't verbalize what was wrong either um and these moments are hard you know i'm seven months postpartum i still get waves of sadness i think it just comes with it and i think it helps that you know i'm aware of those moments and 
I mentally have things that I do to get through those moments, but nonetheless, they're still really, really hard. But so that made it a little hard, you know, having such a good time. And I know it leaves my husband just like super confused, like what the heck? We just had such a great time. Like we saw some old associates there, well, an old associate there that we hadn't seen in like six years had fun talking to him for about 30 minutes. Then we met one of my best girlfriends there and her husband were out on the lawn, just jamming, drinking. We had food, it was fun, it was fun. And then it was just like, it was really weird, really weird. But um, as far as the R&B Fest itself, it was nice. So like the first performer that came out was Tweet. I don't know if you could see, could tell who that was because we were like really far back. We were on the lawn. There's three sections, the pit, then there was like an area with seats and then there was the lawn. It was lit on the lawn, okay? Uh, my girlfriend stayed a little bit longer. She got there um, later than us, so she stayed longer. And she actually made her way down to the pit and to the area where there were seats. And she said it was lit down there too. But I can only speak for the lawn. The lawn was lit. Everybody was out there just like, it was like, you know what it felt like? It felt like a family barbecue, like, or a family reunion. Uh, that's the only way that I can describe it. Like everybody just zoned out in their own world, dancing, singing. Bobby V came out. There was one other guy came out while I was there, but I don't know his name. My girlfriend knew who he was and knew his songs, but it was a good time. So when they come back around, I'm getting tickets again. And this time I'm planning to be there from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, we, we plan to be there from 3 to about 6.30. So we were there from 3. I think we left at like 7. But um. I definitely wanted to stay later and just like mingle and you know, it was good though. It was good. It was a good time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little short vlog of our date night. Um, if R&B Fest, I, I think it's, you could find them um, on Instagram. R&B only is what it's called. If they come to your town, yes, go ahead and get you some tickets. If you're going to be on the lawn, make sure you bring you some um, like blankets to sit on or you can rent chairs there. Have your money ready because, baby, they want your money for them drinks. But their drinks are strong. I was lit. I was litty the rest of that night. But, um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed that, you know, little short vlog. So if you're new here, hey, and I'm happy to have you. Make sure that you subscribe hit that notification bell and please like the video. If you enjoyed that content, like the video because it really helps my channel. If you are already a subscriber, you already know. I appreciate you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.